Hey, welcome back, Buckeye Nation, to your Caribou Data Science channel. Today is, well, Friday, July 30th, 2021. It's time for a daily COVID-19 analysis. As always, we need to remind ourselves that the governor, in his infinite wisdom, decided to, uh, when you know, back in February, as we recall, uh, the governor's office came out and, and announced that uh, they had undercounted COVID-19 deaths by four, close to 4,000 in the fourth quarter of 2020. And the governor, in his infinite wisdom, decided rather than go back and correcting the problem in the fourth quarter of 2020, he decided just to add the missing 4,000 numbers onto February 11th, 12th, and 13th, as we'll see. My response to that is, is that I basically replaced those those three days with, with the average number of, of deaths from day one up until that uh, 11th, 12th, and 13th. And on top of that, I am also plotted a 70 moving average. So... Really, what we're concerned with here, more so than individual numbers, uh, is the trend, because the trend is always our friend, okay? Let's just take a look here and see exactly what's going on. All right. So here's here's the original numbers, as uh, just, uh, the original adjustments made by the governor's office. Over th so with, with the addition from the missing numbers in the fourth quarter, uh, February 12th was over 3,000, it was about 2,500 cases, so about 2,500 deaths for a single day. But all the rest of the numbers are way down here. This is the 12th and this is the, this is the, this is the 11th and this is the 13th. So by replacing those three numbers, like you can see here with the, with the average number of deaths, this brings it back down to here, which is much better. Okay. This is the raw cases or, or the raw deaths. Big spike here. The uh, this is January, so that the uh, missing number is somewhere around in here. Okay, which is sort of interesting because it does show an incline here. But with, with those additional numbers, this 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 peak here could probably be up closer to here. And that's not the, and that's not what the governor wanted to, wanted to portray. I don't think. Summary statistics for deaths. Again, this is the 70 moving average on top of the, of the numbers. And as you can see here, we, since, this, since December 1st, we are seeing a decline in, in deaths. And this is confirmed by the letter regression line. Okay. What about cases? Well, this, this is the number of cases, raw number of cases reported for the state of Ohio. Again, some summary statistics. That same method applied. You can see we had a long declining pattern in, in cases. On the beginning of July, we begin to see that the that the, the, the cases are moving back, are trending back upward. Okay, so this this is a bit of a concern. Remains to be seen. Hope hopefully this will just be another little, a little spike like this right here, and eventually and swiftly these numbers will resume their downward trend. Okay, but if you look at this here. Well, if this this is five thousand, this is twenty five hundred. Okay. Then that means this is about twelve hundred cases per day here. Okay. So Baka Nation, that does conclude the report for today. Hey, don't forget to click that subscribe button, the like button, most important of all. Don't forget to click the share button and share this on your Facebook and your Twitter accounts today. Thanks so much, Baka Nation. We'll catch you on Sunday with an updated report.